Compared to my old school, old school that I came from in Oregon, it's definitely um, a lower, lower quality school. The uh, cafeteria is a retrofit. Right now, with a population of 1,200 students, we only have seating for 300. I either go to my house or my friend's house, or we go out to eat. Usually, I go to another classroom or I go off campus just because I don't like the cafeteria. This classroom is not feasible and doesn't work for disabled and um, a wheelchair accessible at all in this classroom. Every day the students have to go back and forth across the retention pond to their classes. Every day, no matter the weather, whether it's raining, snowing, dry, muddy, icy, the kids have to go back and forth. The city owns the Civic Auditorium, they own the art room, they own the band room. Every summer we enter into a negotiated use agreement with the city for the use of those classrooms during the day. If anything happens outside of the school hours, we have to rent the art room, rent the band room. We no longer get to use the Civic for student government and other needs because we can't afford it. Um, and a lot of people assume that because we're right here, we can use the Civic whenever we want and it's ours and it's not and we don't even have keys. However, when the Civic has anything in there, the people in there are always allowed to open the doors to our school and I'll have adults coming all around here and kids that we don't know that aren't a part of our school using our restrooms and other things and they're told to do it so it's not that I'm mad at them I'm just frustrated because as teachers we're all vetted anyone who works at a school has to be vetted and then I've got strangers coming around the school. The classrooms, the um, lack of uh, accessibility to technology and the lack of thought for our ability to have this be a safe place um, for people with disabilities. The, um, it is not set up for that and also the big part is the security. There are 17 or something open doors that anybody can get in through at any time and that is very difficult to change because of how the school is set up. Climbing rock is obsolete now because um, we don't have anyone to teach it. One thing that you know is beneficial for us is to have that um, uh, auditorium so that we can have our band concerts and a choir concerts um, here at the school as it is. We go over to Eagle Rock. They use that for their concerts. We are overcrowded because over the years we've had they, in the 70s they had the open concept. They they put up you know metal frames and put on some um, put up some uh, sheetrock and now one classroom became two classrooms. Usually I have about 36 desks, so I just bring these tables back so that my chair rests against the board and the tables come all this way and then um, you can add a whole other row of desks. Well, I have 32, but I have 34 students in my class, so the late ones get these two chairs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. That's a good idea. It's just the way it is. Yep. You have to fight to get to first hour. <laughs> We're very excited about turning this building into the Career Technical um, Campus, and we feel that we would be able to offer expanded programs, expanded certifications, and accommodate more students. Right now we have the programs are housed all the way across the district as Skyline here at Idaho Falls High School and at Compass will be able to draw them together, have them in one place where the kids will be more effective with their day. And then this bond also includes rebuilding Idaho Falls High School. Um, it, it will accommodate about 1,300 students. We're going to have a rough in for eight classrooms to accommodate an additional 200 students, so it would bring the capacity up to 1,500. And it includes a, a very uh, extensive remodel of Skyline. So if this bond passes, we will be able to touch every secondary student's education. They will have the facilities that they need to have a flexible, modern education delivered to them. And that's the one thing that I would ask people to remember is that this is not a bond for just one school or one group of kids. This, this bond will touch every single high school student in the district.